Good morning, afternoon ish, guys. It's about 12 o'clock. Um, today is a Get Things Done Day. That's, that's pretty much all I can say. Um, if you've watched the past couple of vlogs that I've put up, then you've seen that my house has turned into a complete wreck. Um, just with a million different things going on. And I am, I think I mentioned before, I am starting to watch my youngest nephew, the four year old now for my sister um, a few days a week um, and it's just been I'm really really letting my cleaning and housekeeping and things go um, like I've been falling out of my fly lady routine and everything so I'm trying to get everything reset and that's what today is going to be about um, I was going to have my nephews over for the weekend but I changed my mind and decided not to let them come over because the four year old he is sick he's got a cold and um i'm trying to keep him away from grayson as much as possible um and then cj because cj's around him a little bit he's picking up a bit of a cold so i'm really having to clean today um i've got dust you guys seen all the books which I've, I've gotten a lot done i've only been up for like an hour now um had another insomnia night so i went to bed at about 6 30 this morning and i got up at 11 um, and I've gotten a lot done in an hour, so I've vacuumed the entire apartment. Um, so let's see what Grayson's up to. Um, so I've vacuumed the entire apartment. Um, he doesn't need a blanket, CJ. It's not cold. Um, as you can see, all the books are off my table. I saw I went in CJ's room or the boys' room and um, clean off his cubing system and made space for all the books so Grayson has a spot for his books and CJ has a spot for his books um, so that's off my table and I'm slowly but surely I ended up actually last night before I went to bed um, even though I didn't go to sleep I made a list for today so um, I knew I was going to get it done in, a, in an hour it wasn't like a power hour but I really needed to focus um, because I'm getting off track like all of my zone cleaning and stuff like that is in my asana so I'm getting um, notifications like they're recurring tasks. So my cleaning routines and like my monthly review and my weekly review for my planning and everything is all popping up is due. So right now my to-do list is a little out of control because I have things that are due today and then things that are past due from the past couple days that are sitting in my today folder. So I was like, um, and that's another way I'll show. <clears throat> and um, one of my Asana planning videos, how I use Asana in conjunction with still using paper, um, not necessarily a paper planner. Um, although I may use a paper planner, I'm, I'm seriously considering, I was considering the Emily Lay Simplified Planner, um, but I don't need a daily planner every single day. Yeah, kitchen cleaning is what's on the, on the list next. I don't need a daily planner every single day and so I don't want to waste a simplified planner because it is absolutely gorgeous. Um, so I've actually been looking, looking into the Inkwell Press daily planner because it's undated. Um, so I think I may go with that or I may just stick with this and make a, just a list whenever I need it. Just get myself a pretty notebook or something. So whenever I do my what I'm using for 2018 video, I will have made a decision by then and you guys will see. But I'm going to have some kind of paper component just for list making um, for days like today where I've got a lot of things that I need to do but I don't necessarily want to look at my Asana task list because um, like there's things in Asana that I do really need to do today um, but like I have work on website on my list but there's a bunch of little things that work on website that's like months and months of work but um, I have specific tasks that I need to do. So then I will sit at my computer in front of Asana and see what do I need to do to work on my website. But right now, I just have my Hello Autumn screensaver up. I don't want to look at my Asana. I don't want to get sidetracked by that stuff. So I'm really focused on housework. Um, but yeah, so right now I'm cleaning. I have to put up some laundry. Um, not some laundry, a lot of laundry. Um, I really need to do my monthly review because we're already in November. I think today is what, November 3rd or November 4th? I still have not done my weekly, I'm in mean, my monthly review. I didn't do a weekly review at all for this week. I'm just kind of really flying by the seat of my pants. Um, which this week is, today is Friday that I'm filming this. So this week is almost over. But I do need to go ahead and start my weekly review for next week. Because I have a lot of stuff going on next week. Um, 
I have an appointment, the one that I said, the something good that I told you guys about that I'll be talking about later. Um, I just have a lot of work to do, um, like computer work, and I really need to break down some projects to really get back on track. And because I didn't do my weekly review, um, I didn't stay on top of doing a little bit of cleaning every day. Um, so I need to get that done. And then I need to edit and upload my vlog that I did for the past two days. Um, so that will probably come out at some point tonight. I'm just going to make it public as soon as I get it edited and uploaded. And then go and clean up a sauna was my other thing. Um, so I can check off what I did do, clean that up, and then work on my website. It'll be the last thing that I do today. So I just wanted to check in. I will probably be showing you guys how things are looking as I get around. But I'm feeling a whole lot better already just having my floors vacuumed. Um, that just looks a whole lot better. And it gives me space to sit down on the floor and fold laundry. Um, and like I said, my table looks a whole lot better already because all the books are gone. Um, so I just have to clear off a few little small stuff and figure out what I'm going to do with this Halloween candy and where I'm going to put it because this is my big bowl but we keep fruit in it so I don't know where I'm going to put Halloween candy. But we'll figure that out but right now I need to tackle, I've got some sweet tea on the stove that I'm making and I need to tackle this wreck of a kitchen. Yeah, let's, let's do it. Hey good man. You eat your apple. <laughs> okay, so it is uh, 1.30 and the kitchen is clean and most of the other cleaning that I'm going to do today is done. Um, the boys are in here eating lunch. They're having hot dogs and... I'm getting ready to eat lunch too. I think that might be a good idea. So the boys are having hot dogs. Um, Caleb, my nephew, is having gala apples that he's sharing with Grayson and I think I'm going to eat the rest. Um, CJ wanted chips and fruit cocktail that I need to put up. And I'm going to use, this is the non bread that we used last night to make homemade um, pizzas. We got this from um, Aldi and I'm going to use this last slice and cut it in half and warm it up and make myself um, almost like a, a panini with all this stuff we're having spinach and mozzarella ravioli for dinner this is really really good we got this from Costco um, it was on sale like maybe two three weeks ago um, and it's really really good it comes with a seasoning packet like uh, yeah herb and cheese um, packs so really you don't need any pasta sauce I am gonna use some sauce tonight though but we've had this like two or three different times now and I still have like half a bag left so it's a really good buy and I think it was on sale for like eight or nine dollars when we got it so I think I'm gonna make some lunch sit down and rest for a second clear out some emails because I haven't done that yet and then I will get back to my list So it's 3 p.m. and I have cleaned up the kitchen again from lunch and someone is long overdue for a nap but he is fighting it. <laughs> night night. That's not funny. Night night. Yeah night night. It's time to take a nappy. Yeah it's time to go night night. Night now. He's obviously sleepy, but he's fighting it. So I brought his pack and play out here because the two older boys are in the room watching TV and playing with toys and there's no way he's gonna go to sleep in there. So I brought him out here, I uh, brought his pack and play out here so he could sleep in here. But he is used to being in the pack and play with a bunch of toys when we need to kind of corral him in one place. So he thinks it's playtime, unfortunately. So hopefully he'll just not off at some point I'm getting ready to queue up all my YouTube videos and have them playing on my TV while I sit on the floor and tackle my laundry but I did want to show something to you guys that I just pulled out of my closet yeah that's the thing no night night yeah night night I'm not laughing with you it's time go night night what's so funny funny guy it's time to go night night. <coughs> night night. Yeah, night night. <laughs> 
so excuse my laundry that I'm getting ready to work on but um, I just pulled this is my brand new yoga mat I just pulled it out of my closet I've had this yoga mat for like six or seven months um I bought it brand new when I thought that I was gonna not too long after I had Grayson actually when I thought that I was getting ready to go to a yoga studio to start doing yoga but I never did um, and I didn't need it as an exercise mat because when I was going to the Y, um, every time I went to like classes, they always had mats and I would just take a towel or something and lay it over it. So I just never took this out of the plastic or anything. But I got this from Five Below. If you guys have Five Below's in your area, but I really, really love the way this looks. I completely forgot that it had a pattern on it. I thought it was just a black mat and I was going through my closet um, because someone had commented on a video that I had maybe or a picture of my planner I had posted in a planner group and one of the things on my to-do list for that particular day was to look into finding some um, YouTube videos some yoga videos so I could do it at home and um, so I just had it on my to-do list to pull it out so I did and I really really love this pattern so I'm even more motivated to use it so I was actually checking out some of the um, YouTube channels that people had recommended and I found one that I really like. It's called Yoga TX, um, TX as in Texas because the studio that makes the video is based in Austin, Texas and they have awesome videos for beginners. Um, they have videos made for people who are runners, people who have like back pain and nerve pain like sciatica and stuff like that. So I'm really excited and what I'm really excited about is that they have um, a video series of um, yoga for sleep so it's like really um calming yoga to help you go to sleep so i'm thinking that i'm gonna do one of those tonight to see if that helps me to kind of calm down and stop my brain from racing so much and see if i can get some sleep tonight so i'm really looking forward to trying that because i don't think i'm gonna get um any yoga done like just a regular workout done but um i've been wanting to kind of implement it into my day so I'm gonna keep this out here and as you guys can see because I don't have um, like I said Grayson's whole pack and play is in here my laundry so I have plenty of floor space to be able to spread this out um, and even of course when this is not in here Grayson can still move around and play or be in his jumper and do whatever while I do yoga um, in the morning so that is my plan is that I want to do um, I think their videos are like 30 minutes long to do like 30 minutes of yoga in the morning and then maybe do their sleep ones in the evenings which I think they're like 15 to 17 minutes long so um, if I remember I will link it below but again it's just yoga TX TX is in Texas uh, but they look like they have some really good yoga videos so I'm interested in getting started with that and um, I will definitely be telling you guys how that is going or maybe inserting some clips every now and then so we shall see Yo, my little renegade is finally asleep. <sighs> I moved his um his bed back into the room because <clears throat> excuse me, my sister just came and got my nephew and when I told her how much cleaning and stuff I had to do to just kind of get my house reset, um, especially with my nephew coming now, um almost every day and um because I've decided to do like a little bit of preschool at home with him. Anyways, all that to say when I just told her everything that I was planning on doing and just trying to get the house reset and everything before um, he comes back on Monday, she um, offered to take CJ for the weekend, which is really awesome. So the house is completely quiet now and I'm so very tempted to take a nap. So very tempted to take a nap. It's about quarter to four but um I'm gonna push through I'm going to get all of this laundry folded hopefully while I sit and watch my YouTube videos and like I said Grayson is finally down for his nap um this is his later nap and I forgot that he slept in late and he didn't get up until almost 11 o'clock this morning because he was up until three o'clock this morning so that's why he was fighting his sleep so much and he's just now going down whereas he normally would go down like 12 31 o'clock so he's probably going to be sleeping until probably about 5 30 ish so um i'll have a good chunk of quiet time to myself and if i focus i can get this laundry done and um upstairs neighbors um get this laundry done and catch up on my youtube videos and then 
maybe start working on some planning because like I said I need to do a monthly review and a weekly review um yesterday Alan and I did some kind of pre-planning for 2018 um kind of some of the things that I would do for my annual review which I normally do start doing in November um so we started looking at what big dates we have for next year so um I will go ahead and tell you guys the big things we have planned next year of course are our wedding um we are looking at getting a house I do not think we are going to be I'm I, I take that back I know for a fact we're not going to be buying a house so we're either looking at renting a house or doing um renting with an option to buy but um we are looking at getting a house before the summer so around March April we are going to be looking at getting a house and moving <laughs> And then our wedding will be, we are we pulled our wedding date up. So that will be in the summer, um, in June. I'm not gonna release the exact date just yet because we have to nail down a couple other things to make sure that it's actually gonna be that way. Um, and we are planning on doing a pretty big birthday party for CJ in August for his birthday because the past couple years we have not done birthday parties, we've done um, trips away or experiences or things like that so it's about time for him to have a birthday party and he's made a whole lot of new friends um, between homeschool and different activities like his sports and stuff like that um, and then I'm pretty sure uh, with us starting at this new church he's going to make more friends so it's about time for him to have an actual party with his friends um, so that's going to be a big thing and we are going to Disney World I am beyond excited. We're actually going to Disney World in December of next year, um, actually for a whole week, and we will be there for my birthday. So I'm very, very excited. I've never been to Disney World before. Neither of the boys have been before. Alan is from Miami, so of course he's been quite a few times, but it's been a very long time since he's been, so it'll almost be kind of new to him as well. So we're really excited about that. So we sat down and we um, basically mapped out those big dates. Um, and got them on our calendar so now as we plan anything else for next year we have those big dates um, already in mind um, it's gonna it's very helpful for me with um, my business and my blog and everything like that to know when we have those big things coming up and when I'm gonna be in the thick of things as far as planning for those I don't need to have any big things going on um, in my business like trying to launch a new product or a new service because I, I'm just going to be stretching myself too thin so we did that um, I am going to be doing a review not a review um, a video on my annual review process um, just like I've done like monthly weekly and maybe I've done quarterly already I believe I did do a video a while ago but um, I'm going to do new videos because of course now I'm doing digital planning but I've never done an annual review process video and um, I was going to do it very soon like in the next week or so but um, I, I think I told you guys I have my momentum planner which I showed in my fall setup video and um, just lost my whole train of thought and I also have my own version of the power sheets the from Cultivate What Matters and Laura Casey um, and so I'm using those and doing like their whole, um, going through their whole process. Um, and since the new power sheets just launched a, a week or so ago, two weeks ago, um, they are doing like a power sheets prep week starting December 4th, where they help you do all the prep work that's at the beginning of the power sheets before you actually get into the planner itself. So, um, I think I'm going to wait, um, and do the power sheets prep with them because it's a lot of um, pages and a lot of information. It really makes you dig down deep. So I've done, we've done the main thing that we needed to do as far as my annual planning is just to look at those big dates and make sure we have them on the calendar and they're right. And then um, everything else, because when it comes to annual planning and setting like annual goals, they're just very, very lofty generalized goals. I don't really, I set annual goals, but I don't plan based on them. I break them down into quarterly, you know, goals and objectives and then start making projects and stuff based on that. Um, so I'm not, it's not going to bug me to not 
start it or do it actually in November um, as opposed to December. I've done the major thing was it which was looking over the calendar and making sure I have dates in place. Um, I'm going to work on that some more this month because um, there's a couple other big things like uh, I want to go I would like to go to a blogging conference of some sort next year but I don't know if I'm going to make it because there's an event in October in Atlanta that I may possibly want to go to. Um, and if I do go to that, like literally I, we're, we're full um, because I can't plan travel too much um, in the spring, summertime because that's soccer and track season. So I don't know. We'll see. Um, so that's that's the biggest thing at this point. So we've done the major stuff and so everything else is once we get down to the like the quarterly level. So I need to straighten my hair again because it's starting to get curly again. Yeah. I have serious Disney World fever. It's like ten minutes to ten at night and I've been finished with the laundry for about thirty minutes now, but again like nine thirty. It took me to finish this laundry because I've been sitting here watching um die from being mommy with style she is a what's it called like a disney social media mom and so her and her family have been to disney world like a bazillion times and she has a lot of disney videos and disney vlogs on her channel so i think i mentioned in the last clip that we are going to disney world um in december of next year so we just started some preliminary planning and um we are staying off-site um, since Alan works for Hilton. We're going to just stay at the Hilton property that's on Disney's property, but it's not a Disney resort. So, um, anyway, so I've been just binge watching um, Dai's videos. Um, she has a lot of like vacation planning videos, and then she does a lot of vlogging while they're at Disney World. So it's been really helping me because I've never been just to see what the different um, attractions and sites and restaurants and character. Um, meals and all that stuff looks like and it's really cool because um, even though I'm watching some of her older videos and the current ones her older daughter Natalie is the same age uh, excuse me Natalie's the younger one Bella is the same age as CJ I think Bella's also in second grade um, Natalie's the younger one but she's much older than Grayson but because she has two daughters it's really cool that she doesn't have to worry about like doing activities for like a boy and a girl she just has to do girl activities so I'm in a similar situation that like we're not gonna go see the princesses and do too much princess stuff unless I just want to see it I'm gonna want to be doing more of the boy stuff but anyway so I've been doing that in like literally I will sit for 20 30 minutes and just watch videos and not do laundry so I got it all done though so I feel very very accomplished for everything that I have gotten done today um, so that got done. I just wanted to wrap up this vlog. I will be doing a Disney planning series. I will mention, I will say that um, because we are staying off site, I can't officially reserve our rooms until um, 365 days out. So I have to wait until next month to reserve our rooms. Um, and so as soon as I do that and I have the rooms booked, then it will be official to us yes we are going to disney world and i will start our planning series um so i can document it um since again this is our first time going so that will be coming soon among other things i think next year for me is going to be the year of just vlogging and series because i have the disney world series the wedding planning series is not going to be too intense because we've just decided um with pulling the wedding forward into the summer that we are just we're just going to have a very very small low-key um intimate wedding because we are going to put pretty much all of the money that we were going to put towards a big huge wedding into a big huge week-long um disney world vacation for our family so um instead of having this big huge wedding planning series it's going to be a big huge disney planning series um and i told you guys i think at some point um i think i mentioned that i'm going to be doing the happiness project by gretchen rubin um i'm hoping to do that anyway so it's not going to be a book club like how i did with the seven habits but it will be i guess a bit of a book study um, so I'll just be implementing what I'm learning from the book and kind of doing my own happiness project personally. 
um, and a few other things that I have in mind. So I'll be talking more about it in December, just talking about what the plans are for 2018. But um, definitely a Disney World series coming. So I am done for the night. Um, me and Grayson are chilling out. I'm eating chips, drinking soda. He's eating a snack. And we're just going to binge watch more Disney World videos. So I've got like, I have like 31 videos in my queue just from Die. And I think we're on 23 right now. So I'm going to finish these. I'll probably find some more Disney World videos and just have fun and just take notes. And that's it. So um, I did not get around to editing the vlog from yesterday and the day before. But it will get edited tomorrow morning. And so that vlog will come out and then this one will come out right behind it. That's what I told you guys. I knew I would not be uploading vlogs like every single day. Um, I knew it would be a couple days delay on when I did do them. Um, just because of things like this. So I will see you guys in the next one.